Hello people, I'm going to be talking about free stuff, which is like everybody's favorite word, and not just any free stuff, free art supplies. I'm going to be talking about how you can get free art supplies. So basically, I had bought in, bought, bought in, yeah, I had bought a Winsor Newton watercolor palette, and Winsor Newton Cotman travel watercolor palette, and like the pans kept on popping out in like of the thing and it like my friend she had the same um, palette and she did not have the problem so I emailed them about it which is what you do when there's a problem with your whatever you buy because you don't give them a lot of money for the product to be like a problem and I'll talk more about that later but basically I emailed them they said that they'd send me a free replacement and then I also had gotten um, these Windsor Newton brush markers brush marker. I got a bunch of them, but only one had this problem. I'll show you that. And the problem with this marker is when I open it, like, you can, markers aren't supposed to do that. So I have to, like, do this, and uh, then stick it back on every single time I ever want to use it. Because it happens every single time. So I've mentioned that to them, too, and they said they'd send me a free replacement. I um, didn't make it clear enough that I bought the alcohol-based brush marker, but they've done plenty enough, so I'm not going to clarify, and I'm fine with they, what they sent me instead. Basically, they said that they'd replace both of those things for free because they didn't work the way that they should. I paid good money for it, and they'd replace it. But I ended up getting two packages from them. The first package had not one, but two of these Windsor and Cotman um, watercolor sets, and three of not the right brush markers, they're water-based, and I ordered the alcohol, but it was, it was my fault that I didn't clarify, so it's fine, I use these, these are actually pretty cool, so three of these, so I'm like, that's really excessive, but I guess they felt really bad, and then like a couple days after that, I got another package from them, and it came with another one of these. And three more of these, which um, I already gave two of them. I mean, one of them's opened and I'm using it. And then the other one I gave to my sister. Wait, don't don't expect that they'll send you like five different product, like five of the same product. Um, I'm sure that was just some kind of error on their part, but I'm fine with it. It's good. But moral of the story, if something doesn't work, let the company know. It's called customer service. You're making those people do their job. A couple other stories that pertain to um, getting free stuff because your stuff didn't work. I had these hashtag coloring markers and if you're familiar with them you'll know that they're the worst and there was like something growing on them and I emailed that company about it and they sent their new and improved alt alternatives marker which is still kind of a problem attic marker because this isn't flexible but that's what you get for a cheap marker but they're a lot better there's nothing growing on them and they don't get destroyed as easily so it's more door durable that's the word and since I ordered three of the little like five marker sets they sent me one 6 marker set and one 12 marker set, so I got more than I paid for. Also, when my sister used to buy dolls, they'd sometimes come with like an accessory with a defect in it, and she'd email the company, and the company would send her like a $20 voucher to buy a new doll, which she would then buy a different doll than the one she already had, so she'd keep the defected doll, and then buy a different, completely different one and just fix the defected one herself. That's not cheating companies out of their money, that's um, good customer service. You're making like the people who work there do their job. My little sister, she got an American Girl desk or something and it was supposed to come with a little bag of accessories and they called the company and the company was like, can't give you a little bag of accessories but we can just send you a new desk. So she got a new desk, so now she has two desks. I was a little bit unwary when I did this, but my sister found a hair in her hot pocket, and it was a blonde hair, not any of ours, because we're all blue brunettes. And I emailed the company, and they sent me, like, what, $29? 24 I don't know, they spent, sent me money, and I was like, okay, I'll accept it. It's just a hot pocket, which wasn't that expensive, but I guess they felt bad, so... You should never feel bad for buying something that does, like, you should never buy something then get home and be like, ah, oh, this doesn't work. Um, because customer service is nice and they want you to have, like, a good impression of their brand. So they're gonna be nice. Um, oh yeah, one more thing. I'm not gonna show it because I think there's some kind of coupon code on it, but, um, I went to a Blick store 
in the vlog, one of my vlogs here on this channel, and I bought three watercolors, but then I realized I bought two of the wrong ones, and I was like, shoot, this was like $15 per tube. I wasted a lot of money. Um, so, like, can I return this somehow through the online system? And I emailed the company, and they said no, which is really disappointing, but they said, but the best we can do is give you a $10 voucher. So, I got those two watercolors. Um, that I did pay for, but then I also got just $10, which, I mean, it would have been better if I could return them, but now I can buy $10 more worth of watercolors and keep those too. Customer service is your friend. Just don't abuse the customer service, because that might lower morale. I don't know. Just don't do it. it it's not good. Hope you enjoyed this short little video. I'm just trying to think of more videos that I can do for, like, fun. Just short little art-related videos. I enjoy talking in front of the camera. Helps me feel more interactive. I like recording with a background because I'm really proud of my whole workspace, which I also have a tour of. Um, sorry for the shaky footage. I was really kind of nervous for some reason. Talking in front of the camera does kind of freak me out. And I wasn't really in front, I was behind the camera. So it's really shaky footage, but I'm going to have a tour of my art closet up in a bit. I have to wait for my dad to help me put up these, like, one more shelf because I'm not tall enough, no. Uh, I, my mom said I'm not allowed to do it by myself, so... But I guess I could do a room tour since that's pretty much done. Basically, just stay subscribed because got more stuff coming at you, and if you're not subscribed to me, please do so. I'm trying to get more reach because I like talking to people, although I'm socially awkward. Wow, my face is really, like, glowing right now, but that's just because the sun started coming out from outside. It's really gray. Hmm. Okay, before my face gets too yellowed and like it looks so shiny right now and that's not a good thing. But yeah, so thanks again. Um, subscribe again if you want. Do all that YouTube stuff and...